flexor digitorum superficialis, you're going to get your person's fingers to bend at the dips, and, or, sorry, straighten at the dips and just bend at the proximal interphalangeal joints. You're going to come up to the medial epicondyle. You're going to get them to pulse into flexion. You should feel that pop up under your finger under the medial epicondyle common flexor tendon. You can come down and approximately here is where you're going to get them to stop. You get onto the coronoid process. You can get your person to flex at the elbow. Good, and that'll pop up your biceps brachii tendon. So right in here is the coronoid process. They flex at their interphalangeal joints again. That pops up again, and I can come down where those heads meet. And also the oblique radial line is just below where the mobile water three has its muscle bulk in here and I can get my person to pulse and I will feel that generally pop up into my thumb in here. Okay, and then bulk of fibers I can pick up. My fiber direction comes down this way. I can pick up as she continues to pulse. And then as I get into this region, I'm going to feel tendons start to sway out. I can drum across them. When I get to the base of the palm, just past the flexor retinaculum, I can go on to the bases of the metacarpals in here and follow across mirroring so I can find the tendons popping up in here as they come towards the phalanges, so keep popping up for me. Okay, and this is the one that splits and it goes down onto the base of the middle phalanx. I can get my person to stop, find my joint line my base is here, my person can again pop up into my finger there, and then I can continue on finding the same for three, four, and five digits.